Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering how to use the Elementor Pro Facebook button. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say if you don't already have Elementor Pro, I highly recommend picking it up. If you want to support my channel and get it, you can get it at WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. I also wanted to mention that I'll be covering every single one of the Pro Elements in videos and making a big playlist on how to use each of them. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested in those Elementor Pro videos. And with that out of the way, let's dive into the video. So the Facebook button element is an easy way to get your website in front of users that also want to like, share, and recommend your Facebook content. So to start off here, I'm just going to hit the plus icon. I'm gonna just make it one wide structure and I'll click the plus button and then we can just search up here and type in Facebook and Facebook button is the first one that pops up. Now if we drag this over and drop it in, you can see right by the default here, it says like, be the first of your friends to like this. Now honestly, this is the setup that I like the most right here, but I'll just go through here and show you can use recommend it if you want and there is a follow option, but I tend to use just the like option right here. So layout, you can do standard, you can use button, and then you can also do button with account and you can also do box count right here so those are the options now i will say if you want to use something like standard it says be the first of your friends to like this i think that gives almost an extra hint that this is for facebook now i think almost everyone in the world knows that this is the facebook icon with this thumbs up and says like but that gives people even more of an alert that it's probably going to be for liking a facebook page so you can use whatever one you want. If you want to have a counter, you can have something like that. But I really think that something like the standard works fine. Now I'm gonna go and make the size large so it stands out a little bit more. And then you also can have the option to turn on a share button, which is a nice feature as well. Now here we have faces, we can turn that on as well. But since I'm not linked to anything, I don't think it's going to show anything different there. And here we have the option to keep it on our current page or go to a custom and you can add an, your own custom link right there. I'm going to leave it as current page in this case. And really that about wraps up what you can do with the Facebook button widget. There's really not a whole lot to it, but it is a nice, quick and easy way to add this option for people to like and recommend your content. You can also go in here and add padding to it. You can add a background, you can reposition it, whatever you need to do. But basically this summarizes what the Elementor Pro Facebook button widget really is. So if you like this video, please consider giving a thumbs up and subscribe for more Elementor Pro tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.